Present tense. In the bustling, vibrant heart of India, Shashi Godbol, a woman of considerable dedication and charm, presides over her household and a small but thriving business. Yet, her family, blind to her many virtues, often derides her for her less than perfect command of the English language. A journey to the city of New York, undertaken alone to orchestrate her niece's wedding, presents her with a golden opportunity. She enrolls, with a delightful air of secrecy, in a class to learn the Queen's language. In this melting pot of cultures and accents, she encounters a diverse array of souls, including a French chef named Laurent, who sees and appreciates Shashi for the remarkable woman she truly is. As her command of English blossoms, so does her confidence. Her family, oblivious to her linguistic adventures, descends upon New York for the wedding. Juggling familial duties and her fervent desire to master English, she also navigates the delicate waters of a potential romance with Laurent. The wedding provides the stage for her grand reveal, a speech in flawless English, a testament to her newfound confidence and linguistic prowess. Her family, taken aback, finally sees her in a new light, and she basks in the glow of their respect and her own self-worth. Past tense. In the teeming, colorful heart of India, there lived Shashi Godbol, a woman of considerable dedication and charm. She ran her household and a small but thriving business with aplomb. Yet, her family, blind to her many virtues, often derided her for her less than perfect command of the English language. A journey to the city of New York, undertaken alone to orchestrate her niece's wedding, presented her with a golden opportunity. She enrolled, with a delightful air of secrecy, in a class to learn the Queen's language. In this melting pot of cultures and accents, she encountered a diverse array of souls, including a French chef named Laurent, who saw and appreciated Shashi for the remarkable woman she truly was. As her command of English blossomed, so did her confidence. Her family, oblivious to her linguistic adventures, descended upon New York for the wedding. Juggling familial duties and her fervent desire to master English, she also navigated the delicate waters of a potential romance with Laurent. The wedding provided the stage for her grand reveal, a speech in flawless English, a testament to her newfound confidence and linguistic prowess. Her family, taken aback, finally saw her in a new light, and she basked in the glow of their respect and her own self-worth. Future tense. In the bustling, vibrant heart of India, Shashi Godbol, a woman of considerable dedication and charm, will preside over her household and a small but thriving business. Yet, her family, blind to her many virtues, will often deride her for her less than perfect command of the English language. A journey to the city of New York, undertaken alone to orchestrate her niece's wedding, will present her with a golden opportunity. She will enroll, with a delightful air of secrecy, in a class to learn the Queen's language. In this melting pot of cultures and accents, she will encounter a diverse array of souls, including a French chef named Laurent, who will see and appreciate Shashi for the remarkable woman she truly is. As her command of English will blossom, so will her confidence. Her family, oblivious to her linguistic adventures, will descend upon New York for the wedding. Juggling familial duties and her fervent desire to master English, she will also navigate the delicate waters of a potential romance with Laurent. The wedding will provide the stage for her grand reveal, a speech in flawless English, a testament to her newfound confidence and linguistic prowess. Her family, taken aback, will finally see her in a new light, and she will bask in the glow of their respect and her own self-worth. Perfect tense. In the bustling, vibrant heart of India, Shashi Godbol, a woman of considerable dedication and charm, has been presiding over her household and a small but thriving business. Yet, her family, blind to her many virtues, has often belittled her for her less than perfect command of the English language. A journey to the city of New York, undertaken alone to orchestrate her niece's wedding, has presented her with a golden opportunity. She has enrolled, with a delightful air of secrecy, in a class to learn the Queen's language. In this melting pot of cultures and accents, she has encountered a diverse array of souls, including a French chef named Laurent, who has seen and appreciated Shashi for the remarkable woman she truly is. As her command of English has blossomed, so too has her confidence. Her family, oblivious to her linguistic adventures, has descended upon New York for the wedding. Juggling familial duties and her fervent desire to master English, she has also navigated the delicate waters of a potential romance with Laurent. The wedding has provided the stage for her grand reveal, a speech in flawless English, a testament to her newfound confidence and linguistic prowess. Her family, taken aback, has finally seen her in a new light, and she has basked in the glow of their respect and her own self-worth.